Here we talk about beauty, entertainment, celebrities, books, movies, anime, TV shows, and kind of anything else that garners my attention this week. And today, we're going to talk about Aquafina because earlier this week, Twitter has finally had the conversation on why we need to get Aquafina the fuck up out of here. Now, Aquafina is somebody that I've been aware of for a very long time, and for as long as I've known her, I've wanted her gone, okay? I've never been a person who finds the whole non-black person acting black trope to be funny that's never been funny to me you pretending to be black or quote unquote what you think black is has never sat right with me even from a young age it never made me laugh it never tickled me i've always thought it was weird when i was younger and i still think it's weird and aquafina was for i would feel like for people my age and a little bit older she's the most like prominent one because she's been doing this for what a better half of almost a decade and some change. Aquafina is being accused of talking in a black set because she does. And people notice a difference between when she wants to be taken serious, she drops this whole like ghetto Asian girl thing. And then when she's trying to be comedic and funny, that is when the black set comes out. I know a lot of non-black people were trying to say she's just code switching she code switches y'all don't know what code switching is like at all and y'all need to stop speaking on it because code switching is not turning on the ghetto for work code switching is an act of self-preservation that black people do in corporate places in places where they need to be treated fairly and unfortunately them being themselves will not give them access to being treated fairly so they code switch okay code switching is not with your parents speaking prim and proper and then when you go to work you turn on the black that's not code switching not at all now again stop using words and phrases you actually truthfully do not know the definition of and what they actually mean because what aquafina does is not code switching she's playing up she literally has stated before that the whole aquafina thing is a character and we'll get into that later that like that's not even how she naturally is so how is that code switching if she's not y'all just be saying words so you can just get away with things Another thing that was happening was people were saying like they were not gonna go see The Little Mermaid because Aquafina is in it. Aquafina is like the seagull. She can't have more than what 10, 15 minutes of screen time. Personally, even though like I've definitely I definitely go out of my way to not watch anything with Aquafina in it. Like I didn't watch Crazy Rich Asians because I knew she was in there pretending to be black like always. I, I purposely go out of my way not to see things with her in it. The Little Mermaid is something that I've decided I'm gonna see regardless just because Hallie has gone through so much in order to have this role and has had think pieces with no thoughts written about her and hundreds of thousands of people being racist to her on the internet. And she d really does need like black people to show out for this movie. So I'm gonna go see it. Aquafina not gonna stop me. I I wish she was not in it, but that's not gonna stop me from supporting Hallie. I'm sorry. Mm mm. Like especially when like I feel like if an overwhelming like if if the Little Mermaid does not do good, white people are gonna bring this up for fucking years. Of how the Black Mermaid flopped. And I ain't being part of that. I'm sorry. As much as I hate Aquafina, and I do purposely go out my way not to say anything with her in it, I can't do that to Hallie. Also, while Aquafina was getting dragged, someone brought up a clip from the movie Ocean's 8 that she's in. That's another movie I watched because Aquafina was in it. And in that clip, you can see that, like, Aquafina is, again, using a very heavy black set, poorly like always. And with that clip, it was actually followed with a quote by Aquafina that said, I refuse to do accents. I'm not okay with someone writing the Asian experience for an Asian character. I make it very clear. I don't ever go out for auditions where I feel like I'm making a mistral out of our people. And that quote is so funny because she has a problem with, you know, being a minstrel 
for Asian people, but she has absolutely no problem doing it for Black people. Like, she fully understands that she does not want to be a minstrel of her own people, but she perpetuates the ghetto Asian girl stereotype that she doesn't even have to... Like it's really mind-blowing to me that she is aware of the power of an accent while doing a black scent. There is something about that that is actually kind of deranged that like she's fully aware to not be harmful to her own people but has no problem being harmful for black people. It is the cognitive dissonance of being fully aware of how accents and stereotypes hurt your own people but then make a career of being a menstrual show for black people. It is really crazy to me the leaps and bounds in mental gymnastics a person will do just to serve themselves. Because that black scent was Aquafina's personality for almost all of her career. That is what she is most known for. Like I said, being the ghetto Asian girl because for some reason people think non-black people acting ghetto is cute and funny. And Aquafina has been using this accent to climb higher and higher in her career until she got a really big role, which is The Farewell. And then in that movie, the black set is completely gone. What happened to, this is just how I talk. This is just how I speak. I naturally talk like this. Aquafina was a caricature for blackness in order to appeal to white audiences for years. For years, but now that white people readily invite her into the room, the accent's gone. She doesn't want to be called Aquafina anymore. She wants to be called by Nora now. Like, it is not lost on me that you've been the ghetto Asian girl, but now that you are allowed in, the gatekeepers have let you in. It's time to get rid of the ghetto shit. It's time to stop going by Aquafina. Now we're Nora Lum now. Like, you're not slick. I see. The thing is, she's not the first non-black person to do this, and she will not be the last. Like, non-black people do this so much where they pretend to be black. They tend to be for the culture, and they down with it until it's no longer profitable for them. And now white people let them in, and now... The accent's different, they dress different, they don't smoke weed no more, they change their name. They're a whole new person now that they're finally being accepted by whiteness. I know people try to defend her by saying like she grew up in Queens. I need y'all to understand that all of Queens does not look like Jamaica Queens, okay? Aquafina grew up in Forest Hill. There isn't even a decent enough population of black people in Forest Hill for this black scent to make sense because Forest Hill is predominantly like white and Asian. So this whole, I grew up in Queens thing don't make no sense. Cause again, not all of Queens looks like Jamaica Queens and y'all need to stop pretending like it all does. There are white people in Queens. There are Asian people in Queens. Not everybody in Queens is black. Like Aquafina even has like a show on Comedy Central that's like basically about her life. Nobody on that show speaks in a black set not even aquafina herself which is very interesting so as you can see this is not how she naturally speaks because she turns it on and off at the weirdest points it's black scent to book jobs that's not how it's code switching works my problem isn't even just only with Aquafina, it's with every non-black person in Hollywood that gets to come in and out of blackness as it's profitable for them. Because so many people have done this where they've had a black phase, a fucking black phase, where they get to act black and, you know, get to be a whole minstrel show until they reach fame and success. Now they don't need that black shit no more. They're now successful. And now they, again, the accent changes. There's always a name change, a fucking rebrand all the time where they discard the blackness in order to like gain profit. That's exactly what Aquafina is doing. Her accent changes for each role. So she's in a serious role. She's Nora, okay? She's Nora Lump from Forest Hill, Queens when she has a more like comedic role that's when the black scent comes out and I'm like that's minstrelsy because when you're trying to be funny and trying to 
be humorous, you mock black people. And I'm like, y'all, does no one... And she's been doing this for years, and I, I just don't understand how she's been able to do this for this long. Especially this past year. This past year, Aquafina has been in so many things. It's so strange to me that, like, for some reason, Hollywood has decided that Aquafina is now the, the token Asian woman. If there is a role for an Asian woman, it's Aquafina. And I'm like, if y'all don't give Ali Wong some jobs, it, leave Aquafina alone. There are so many talented Asian women actresses that we don't need Aquafina. We, we don't. Because she's not funny. Like, she's not. All she does is a minstrelsy of black people. What about that is humorous and funny? Again, please retire the ghetto Asian girl trope. It's dead. It's dead. Okay, so that's it for our video. What are your guys' thoughts of pain on not only Aquafina, but of non-black people coming in and out of blackness as they see profitable? And like your pains on the fact that like being ghetto quote unquote ghetto is profitable for non-black people but not profitable for actual black people and the song of the day for today is from the garden by isaiah rashad featuring little uzi Vert. if you have not heard isaiah rashad's new project you definitely need to but that's it for me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys